So the next important topic is cost reduction. Cost reduction is the real and permanent reduction. Cost control, temporary. Cost reduction, real and permanent reduction. In the unit cost of the goods manufactured. In the unit cost of the goods, goods manufactured without impairing its utility for the intended use. Without impairing the utility for its intended use. This is the definition. Then we have scope. Under scope we have four points. Scope of cost reduction. First one is product design product design then second one is organization third one is factory layout equipment fourth one is production production plan program and method so what are the four points under scope of cost reduction first one is product design second one is organization third one is factory layout equipment fourth one is production plan program production plan program then under product design what you have to remember remember only few things okay so uh, efficient designing for new product so because 80 percent of your cost is put on the design design part that's why there should be uh, efficient design efficient designing okay so you can use cheaper substitute higher yield and less quantity also you can use cheaper substitute less quantity also it's fine like kurkure lays and all they put less quantity right so you can do that but you have to reduce the cost so you know, that's what it is then reduce time of operation so for one product you have to reduce the time of operation then third one is standardization and simplification so make all similar looking products so that you know it is standardized and simplified standardization simplification what are the three points that you should remember there should be effect efficient designing okay how do you do the efficient designing by uh, first one is by using the cheaper substitute cheaper substitute less quantity then standardize and simplify simplification of the design then the, the third one is reduce time of operation imagine you are doing the operation you are like fast fast do it stitch it finish it <laughs> remember like this then organization organization we have it is not possible to measure the extent of cost reduction resulting from the improvement in the organization okay it is not really a we are not really able to measure the extent of cost reduction resulting from the improvement based on this organization topic okay but still what all we can do under organization is first thing definition of each function and responsibility okay like imagine sales manager marketing manager finance manager uh, accounting manager we have all these four right first what are you doing you are giving the def definition of each function and responsibility so marketing you take care of sales you take care of accounting you take care of and finance you take care of like that so definition okay uh, what is the first thing definition of each function and responsibility you should give them the responsibility so this is you are responsible for this correct so definition of each function and responsibility proper assignment of task and delegation of responsibility proper assign once you define the function you have to assign right so a proper assignment of task and delegation of responsibility proper assignment of task and delegation of responsibility a suitable channel of communication once you once you uh, you know assign that a suitable channel of communication you have to con communicate with them correct what is the first one you define the function second one you delegate like uh, you assign the task first one is define the function and responsibility then assign the task third one communication communicate that whatever that you have assigned that is suitable channel of communication cooperation and close relationship once you start communicating well there's a cooperation and close relationship there is a cooperation and closed closed relationship okay then so when you have closed relationship you can obviously remove the doubts and encouragement to employees for cost reduction suggestion and also encourage the employees to give cost reduction suggestions okay this is what it is then third one is factory layout equipment under factory what was the first one uh, under scope scope of uh, uh, scope of what scope of cost reduction the first point is product design second point is organization in organization you don't really know if there is a reduction or not still you do it then third point is factory layout factory layout equipment factory in factory what do you have equipment right so factory layout how do you lay out these equipments factory layout equipment what are those the cost reduction program should study the factory layout and the utilization of the existing equipment to determine whether there is any scope of cost reduction by elimination of wastage so while you are uh, doing the factory layout 
you should make sure is there any way to reduce this cost okay by eliminating el eliminating what wastage wastage of what men material and maximum utilization of facilities available wastage wastage in form of men material and maximum utilization of facilities available the necessity for replacement of plants introduction of new techniques or expansion of facilities okay this is when you leave factory layout equipment you understood now you are removing the wastage in the form of what men material and you are efficiently using maximum utilization of facilities available there then the fourth one is production plan program and method production plan ppp production produce plan and program program that okay so production control ensures proper planning of work see before you produce you have to plan okay so before you make a plan you should have a program in your mind you have to program in your mind okay so how do you remember this point so before you produce you have to plan before planning you should program in your mind okay so production plan program then so what are these production plan and program in this in this point what all we have to include whether wastage of manpower and material is kept to the minimum okay so wastage of material man manpower is kept to the minimum okay then there is a, any scope for reducing the idle capacity if there is any scope for reducing the idle capacity whether labor wastage may be reduced okay first thing what we check wastage of material uh, and man manpower can be reduced then wastage of labor labor wastage can be reduced then there is is there any scope to reduce the idle capacity then uh the pro the procedures for the control of stores and maintenance services procedure to control the stores and maintenance services then scope for reduction of overhead three reductions will happen one is material reduction material wastage reduction then labor wastage reduction then idle capacity reduction and also overhead overhead scope of reduction of overheads okay then this is what the scope is then we have something called tools tools and techniques of cost reduction what are the tools and techniques for cost reduction remember chapters target costing kaizen costing standardization of standardization of products bpr business process reengineering value analysis these things we can remember